Now, let's go to the only championship, provincial championship that really counts, which is through, like, you know, in Ulster, because every game is a battle. Like, when you take a look at it, it's a, it's a hotbed, you know, and it's difficult enough again this year to try and predict, even though I do think that the league positions and the league results have given us a clearer picture in recent weeks. Yeah, there's no doubt. The Ulster Championship for 15 years now has been the most competitive championship of them all. Every game, as you say, Logie, we've, we've been at many games together. I faced many battles together uh, or against a lot of these teams in the past. And you can't really predict one result from the next. Um, the Ulster Championship is the most competitive. Kick starting the, the, the Championship off is a Donegal Tyrone match. And, you know, the reality is Donegal have had the upper hand on Tyrone over the last couple of years. But I wouldn't rule Tyrone win, winning a, I wouldn't really like Tyrone winning that match. Um, but overall, you know, it's going to be a very heated Ulster Championship once again with five or six teams believing that they can really go on and win it. Uh, Fermanagh are different, a different plane at the moment. You have down in against Derry there too. But you happen to talk about the opening match, Donegal against Tyrone, and whoever the winners are, look at the route they have just to get to an Ulster final compared to any other team. It really is, you know, it's lop they can look, they can talk about all the all the committees they want. That's completely lopsided, you know, the product they have, the, they have in hand. Yeah, well, all the stronger teams within the province, apart from Monaghan, seem to be the one side. You, you would have to fancy Monaghan's chances to get to a, an Ulster final. They have a relatively easy passage, but they, they will have to face possibly Fermanagh along the way, and Fermanagh have had a good league campaign to date. Um, on the stronger part of the, the draw, you have Donegal, Tyrone, Derry, Down, Armagh, and it's really anybody's guess who's going to reach the final um, on that side of the draw. When you say it, I don't know it's anybody's case, but that's why you're here. Because I want to know, listen, who's going to make the us the final on that side of the draw and who you're going to tip. Remember last year it was Donegal, Monaghan. We saw what it meant to Jim McGuinness whenever yep. they beat Monaghan. Do you see a possible repeat final or, or who do you see making the final? I don't see a repeat final. Like, take your final. Armagh hat off at this stage. I'm going to take my Armagh hat off and I don't normally tip Armagh, but I'm going to tip Armagh to get to the final this year. They've had a good strong league campaign. They can only beat the teams that's put in front of them under Kieran McGinney. They've been impressive so far. Um, I think he, he'll have a couple of more months of work and, and good preparation done in, within the team before they face Donegal, who I believe will win the first round game. And I think Armagh at home advantage will come out on top in that battle and it'll be an Armagh Monaghan final with Armagh to come out on top in Ulster. So your tips are uh, Cork and Munster. Dublin in Leinster, Roscommon in Connacht, and uh, Armagh in Ulster. My own county, Armagh. I, don't I, must normally just ring, I must just ring Mr. McLean and find out what the odds are for that quadruple. <laughs> <laughs> Good man, look forward to seeing I, I, I know you. I know you don't have the hat on you, but clearly yeah, I think you have Armagh all, all, written all over you because I have seen Armagh a few times in the league and they don't strike me as a side that can do that much in the Championship this year. They didn't strike you as a side that could do that much last year either and... Really and truly, it was after the first few months of Kieran McGinney working with the side that really kicked in. And Kieran, to be fair to him, will have prepared his team to get out of Division Three, but he'll be putting all of his eggs in one basket now, getting them ready for the championship. There's no doubt about that. I know slagging and choking apart too. You know what you're talking about is the Armagh and the 21 manager because you know the efforts that are going on behind the scenes in Armagh. They are definitely a coming side, aren't they? There's so much talent and ability throughout the county that it's going to come good at, at some stage and. You know, some under 21 players from last year's uh, panel, Aaron Finden, Michal McKenna, have had a good sustained run of, of, of league games this this campaign to date, and they're starting to really warrant their place within the squad. And you know, that's a positive sign from our point of view, and I think there's a lot of potential coming through and a lot of strong players.